Okay, I want to show off the new feature that we launched called Custom Search Settings. So this feature is only available for professional Grepper users, which is the paid Grepper plan. So the way you can uh, manage these settings is you just go log into your account. If you go to Settings, and then you can see here, you'll see Custom Search Settings. So when you come into here, basically what you can do is you control you can control some uh, how Grepper answers will show up when you do a Google search. So right now you can see when I search JavaScript loop array through backwards, let me refresh this, it'll show my answer, because I have put in an answer for this, and two other answers with kind of similar terms. And so we can actually change how this works. So I'll, I can change the number of my answers I want to show. So if I've put in another answer um, and I change this setting to two, and then when I refresh this, you can see my other answer will show up. So it'll be kind of similar. And the same thing with public answers. So the default is to show one of my answers and two public answers, and that's just all other community answers. And so if I want to change that, let's say I want to show five answers instead. It could be kind of a lot, you know, maybe that's too many for you, but maybe you want to see a lot of grepper answers. Now it'll show uh, my one answer and then five other public answers. Now again, it'll only show answers if we have a t an answer with a, a term that's similar to our search term. And we can also control how similar we want that term to be. So for example, th what this setting does, it allows you, let's say you search this term, JS loop array backwards. By turning this down, it'll match more and more terms. And by turning it all the way up, it'll basically only match the exact term. So here you can see it, it matches the exact term at 100. We probably want to also match this term, JS loop backwards. It's the same thing, and maybe some of these. And so the reason it's broken down into two sections here is you can see, uh, you can set these settings for my answers and community answers. A lot of the times you'll want to see your answers more of the time. So if you have an answer that's close at all to the search term, for me anyways, I like to have my answer pop up because sometimes I know I put in a grepper answer and I'm like, oh, I, I can't quite remember what the term I used uh, for that code snippet is. So I like to turn this down so I'll always see at least one of my answers. Uh, 30, maybe a little maybe about 35 is pretty good. And then for the community answers, I usually like to keep it pretty tight because I don't want answers popping up that aren't gonna be right. Um, so 70 or 80, that's pretty tight. So it's only gonna show, you know, it's only gonna show terms that are really close. JS loop away backwards. So that's kind of a misspelling. Uh, so maybe I could turn it down to see that. I think that's a little too low. And what you can do is that you can also, uh, update this term. So if you want to see PHP loop, we'll update that term and kind of see how those settings work for that term. And again, that's pretty good at about 70. And so uh, again, then when I update this, it, it might be the same because these answers will all still pop up. But if you're using a term that um, Basically, the the higher you set this number, the fewer Grepper search results you'll see because it's only going to match exact uh, answers. So you probably don't want to turn it all the way up to 100 unless you really never want to see an answer that could be wrong. So I, I like to keep it at around 75 or so. But So that's how that feature works. And again, it's only available for the uh, professional users, which is the paid version. So thanks. Bye for now.